Hi everybody, how are you all? Hope you're doing great. Welcome back to another session of learning English with me. And today, I'm going to tell you one technique through which you can practice your English alone at home. So I know this is a big question, how to practice English without a partner. And although I have covered a lot of techniques already for which I have made this particular playlist, you can check all the other techniques out. Today's technique is going to be a bit different and it is something that I use a lot in my classes. So when I take a class in face to face class, I do this a lot and this is something that my students love and I'm sure you are going to love it too. Are you ready for this? Well, I'm Shivangi Gupta, your CELTA certified English language tutor and you're watching Speak English with Shivangi. So today's technique is called picture depiction. Either you can call it picture depiction or in simpler words, picture description. So what do we have to do exactly in this technique? So the word depiction means to depict, that is to describe something in words. So picture depiction, I think you can get a bit of hang of this thing that what we have to do, we have to take a picture and then we have to describe it. Now it is very simple technique to hear but let me tell you when you will take a picture and describe it, there are going to be certain challenges that I saw in my life classes, what did I see that? Students are only able to speak two to three lines. So I know this might happen with you too, that when you look at a picture, you might speak two lines, three lines about it, and then that's it. You get a brain freeze, like uh, there's this word freeze. You're not able to speak so much or think much about it. Now what to say? What to say about this picture? That's it. It happens. How to speak for at least two minutes on a picture? I'm gonna tell you that. I'm gonna tell you steps. So there are certain questions that I give. Today, I'm going to tell you some common questions which you can apply to any picture, any picture in order to speak more about it. So I'm going to tell you the steps and I'm going to show you a demo too. This is a demo included video for you. Okay, let's begin with this particular technique that is picture depiction. So first of all, take a picture, any picture and analyze it. In order to speak about it, I would say that one minute, step number one, is to analyze the picture. Analyze it, what is there in the picture. Give your attention to even small details. What's there in the picture? What's the main theme? What is there in the background? So if you look at any picture, there's something there in the background. How many things are there on which you can speak? Analyze the picture. Now step number two. Step number two is to speak on all the aspects as much as you can. Start speaking in simple sentences. What you can do is you can speak in very simple sentences. Just one sentence thing about one particular thing. For example, take a picture, take one thing, speak on that, take another thing in that picture, speak on that, describe something which is there in the picture itself do that and this will give you much more opportunity to speak out speak out about a picture now step number three step number three is the questions that i'm gonna give you okay and after this i'm going to also show you the demo do not worry first of all you have spoken whatever you want to speak about the picture whatever is coming to your mind that's okay now in order to speak something specific about that particular picture or in order to speak more, increase your speaking practice time, you can take all these four questions that I'm giving you in order to speak more. So question number one is who? Who all are there in the picture? So who can you see? There can be many people, there can be one single person, there can be two people. Who can you see in the picture? Talk about them. Talk about the people, if any, in the picture, if you can see. Now step number two or the question number two is what? That is what are they doing? So there might be something that they're doing in the picture. Picture captures a moment, any moment. And you have to tell what is it that is happening in the picture? What are they doing? 
what are these people doing in the picture question number three look at the background now what is going on around them so describe their surroundings what's going on around them what's there in the background there may be a garden in the background there can be a hotel in the background they might be sitting in a cafe so look at the picture what what is there in the background try to describe that and the question number four is what do you really like about the picture now this is something different right you must have not even heard about this like what do you like about the picture isn't it related to the picture and you'll get more opportunity to speak about that picture yes so what do you like about the picture you'll have at least two to three minutes worth of speaking time if you cover all these uh, questions and you'll be speaking a lot believe me now are you ready for the demo it's the demo time for demo i have few books with me and i'm going to use their cover as my demo picture so you know my love for books and that's why i thought let's take a book let's take the cover i'm going to start with something simple and then i'll give you another demo demo number two is going to be a bit more complex so let's start with something simple one of my novels from uh, my time in maybe grade five uh, i think i was in grade five when i bought this okay it's still it's still with me because i really love all my books that i've ever purchased even though i read them now or not that's not a question but still i have them as a token of my memory so this is the picture okay i can see the picture you can see the picture i think now you can see the picture now you'll have a screenshot of this book cover on your right hand side okay do you remember the step number 1 that is to analyze the picture so i'll give you time to analyze this picture what you have to do is you can pause the video take your time 1 minute maybe 30 seconds to analyze this particular picture let's move on let's move forward now the step number 2 was to speak whatever is coming in your mind after analyzing now i'm going to give you a demo what's coming in my mind i'll tell you so for this picture I'd say that there are two children, they're riding a horse, there's a knight in the shining armor, there's a castle in the background, and it's night time, and I think they're on some kind of adventure. So that's what came in my mind. Whatever is coming in your mind, you can pause the video and you can do this activity right now with me. Speak whatever is coming in your mind. Now step number three. So step number three was the questions, the four questions that I gave you. So the question number one was who, who are there in the picture? So I can see there are three people in this picture. That can be a sentence in itself. So let's talk about it. Let's cover this question. I can see that there are three people in this picture. Two of them are children. One is a boy, another is a girl. And then there is a knight behind them. The boy is wearing a specs and the girl is wearing a pink top. I can't see the face of the knight because the face is covered with a helmet. Now, can you see there is so much that you can speak? And I'm sure that if you have something different to speak about, you can also add that. So it's limitless. It's your imagination, how much you are able to recognize the details and speak about them. Moving on to the question number two. What are they doing? So what are they doing? The children in the night, they're riding a horse. So they're on a horse, they're riding it. It looks like as if they're having fun. I think they're on some kind of adventure. I wonder what they are doing exactly. So it's like you are putting a question mark that what kind of adventure is it exactly that they are on an adventure, they're riding a horse, the activities that they are doing, we're describing it in details. Now the question number three, the background. Now we have to describe the surrounding, the background. There's a huge castle in the background. It appears to be a castle right out of a fairy tale. The sky is clear and there's a big shining moon in the sky. 
there are some plants around them around the castle and they are going away from the castle the children and the knight they are going away from the castle so look how many details can you add like this moving on forward question number 4 what do you like about the picture i really like about the smile that's on the faces of the children i think they are enjoying they are on an adventure i'm really curious about why there is a knight behind them this whole image it appears like it's right out of some kind of dream and as an adventure lover i would really like to go on this kind of adventure so that is how you describe a picture in details so can you see we have spoken a lot when we covered the questions initially when i told whatever is coming in my mind just like that there were few sentences just few sentences and once i covered all the questions i had so much to speak about and so much to practice my english speaking that's what we want to speak more english in order to practice and become fluent are you ready for the demo number 2 that's going to be a bit more i would say advanced okay let's move on so this particular demo was also not so easy it was on an advanced level okay my favorite favorite book so this is a a collection of poetry so this is a collection of poetry it's by penguin classics right so it's by penguin classics it's one of those limited editions limited time editions now as you can see the picture we are going to describe the picture now this picture is on an advanced level where you have to recognize more details are you ready let's start you'll have a screenshot on your right hand side and let us start so the step number 1 analyze the picture pause the video analyze the picture and take your time i hope we're back to the video now after analyzing we have to tell whatever is coming in our mind So I'd say there is a beautiful woman sitting beside a window. She's reading a book. There are plants kept by the side of the window, and I think she's enjoying the view outside. So that's what came to my mind. Now step number three, the advanced version, the four questions. Are you ready? Let's begin. So the question number one, who? who are there in the picture or who is there in the picture i can see a lady in this picture with her dog the lady is sitting on a chair beside her window and the dog is sitting by her foot the dog is really cute and the girl or the lady she appears to be really happy she is wearing a long elegant dress and she's having a great time question number 2 what are they doing the lady is reading a book it appears that she is reading something she likes she is reading it carefully and her dog is watching her read the book now question number 3 the background what's there in the background i can see that the lady and the dog they are sitting beside the window This is a huge window from which you can look outside. There are plants kept by the window which are indoor. Outside the window I can see there's sea and there are several boats in the sea. It's a lovely view outside. Question number 4. What do you like about this picture? I would say that I love this picture. it actually depicts exactly what i would love to do in my free time reading a book sitting beside a beautiful window with a beautiful view outside i love the way she looks happy while reading her dog is really cute and the view that i get outside the window that's most beautiful thing sitting beside lovely plants looking at the sea and reading a book that's like a dream come true So that's it. See how much you can speak with just a little picture of yours.
Now I'm going to tell you something very interesting which is how to get these pictures. Do you have to just describe a book cover each time? No, not at all. So the resource for this picture can be something that I did in one of my classes which everybody loved is take out their phone and select a picture from their gallery and then describe it to the partner. So they had a partner, they can describe it to the partner. What you can do is you can do this particular activity that I told you right now, picture depiction using that method. So take your phone out, select something randomly from your gallery and speak about it. I think you'll be speak about it a lot. Why? Because you have a memory associated with it. Another thing, another resource that you can take is Go on Google, select something that's coming in your mind, maybe children playing, traffic, a scene of a city, a scene of a park, whatever it is, type it. You'll get ample and ample of pictures, something which is telling you something different. Pictures with different scenery, all on the same topic. So you'll have ample and ample of pictures. Otherwise, you can go to the websites like stock images and all the pictures that have so many images. There are websites that gives you free images to use. So you can go to that particular website and from there you can find pictures to speak on. Internet, it's a uh, huge, you can see pool, sea of pictures. You'll find ample and ample of pictures on Google. Just go to Google and find something. Okay, so that's it. That's the lesson today and I'm sure this is going to help you a lot in practicing your English, speaking alone at home when you don't have a partner. So try this out and let me know if you like it or not. So like the video, please share it with your friends and subscribe the channel so don't miss out on any, any lesson that I post. Now I'm gonna see you tomorrow till then take care and bye.